Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this episode. It is Monday. Uh, we're finding out tonight, today, in the next 10 minutes, who's going to win the hand-painted rooster tissue box cover. Yes, coveted. 50 people have entered. We find out at the end of the episode through the miracle of the mid mod money prize wheel so 50 people have entered one may leave with the prize all right so let's uh look at this thrift store haul it's all over the place you know no huge heavy hitters this week but i've always said slow and steady wins the race and nothing is more slower and steadier than the humble Salt and pepper shaker. Yes, I talk about this. There are certain things that people always buy. Teapots, candlesticks, uh, salt and pepper shakers. 99 cents from the 1960s. Cool design, cool look. I'll put these in my booth. I'll put 15 bucks on them. I'll make $14. If you do that enough times over and over and over, bam, you got a little business going, a little side business. And uh, that's what I do. I find 60s, salt and pepper shakers, something that has a good look or unique or, uh, you know, character driven, cute kitty cats, whatever. Salt and pepper shakers. Look for them. Um, next thing I found, where did I find this? I found this at a nearly new thrift store here in Maryland. Anybody know what this is? Etco is the name on it. I believe it's from Japan. I opened this up. And was face to face with these gold shrimp appetizer. You know, really bizarre. You find something in the box, it's got the name of who made it, and you Google it, and you cannot find another one. I find that so impossible. And then I see similar things like this that the they are actually plated or painted actual gold leaf. So I would love to get to the bottom of this. I paid five bucks for this minimum. I think these are twenty dollars. This could be a little more than that, closer to thirty, because uh, I do think they have that same look as, as some of the ones that I saw that were actual gold, uh, gold leaf. So five bucks. If anyone knows anything about Etgo, most of their other stuff was again uh, from Japan and uh, odd. Still in the box. 20 bucks off of five. Next thing I found, again, uh, got to have a good eye for stuff. You know, if you're not hitting home runs and you're not finding Eames chairs and Joe Colombo carts and, uh, you know, true, true heavy hitters, got to have a good eye for stuff. I saw this. That's what I feel like this is. This is a, uh, that's a wall decoration, but it's got a Native American uh, feller right there. Um, and it's metal on wood. Uh, I bought this for $5 at Habitat for Humanity. Home store, restore, whatever you want to call it. Um, cool little wall hanging is five bucks. I think it's probably 22, 23 bucks just because of the, it looks like an arrowhead and it's got a cool Native American guy on there. Uh, it just looks good. Cool. Someone will buy it that's into that kind of thing, uh, or just want something unique. Uh, so 23 off of five next thing uh, my girlfriend found now I don't remember where she even told me she got this I just remember that she paid four dollars or five dollars for these amazing seagull cups yep look at these babies uh these are teacups, I think, with uh, that cool uh, 70s seagull vibe. These were made by Noritake, a J Japanese company. They made cookie jars. They made a lot of ceramics. Uh, they made these awesome seagull teacups. I think these are probably worth like 27 bucks for five of these. Very cool looking. Uh, they still have the the labels on them. Yeah, I love them. This is uh, definitely something that I I truly like. As a kid of the 70s, you know, 
I dig that stuff. All right. Now, what do we know about, what do we know about trays? You're finding trays, Bakelite trays, metal trays. I found this tray, but it was, it's got a little thing for her, like, it's a tray, sure, but it's uh, like a wall hanging, an etched in metal thing of wheat. Uh, this was 25% off 10 bucks, 750 I paid for this. Like I said, it's got a little thing and at one time had a label. Would love to know who made this so I could truly know what it's worth or compare it to other ones. I have no idea because if you uh, search metal tray etched, I mean, a million things come up. That is not this. I think just on the way it looks alone, I think it's probably barely $21. It's about a 20, 22, something like that. So I'm still going to make you know, $13, $14 off of this cool, decorative, hanging tray. Now, some trays you can actually use. And nothing says we're having a party like the awesome mushroom tray. Oh, yeah. I haven't even taken this off. Uh, let me see if I can remove. There's a... Uh, can I? This is... Again, no rehearsal. There's no, we have no budget, really, is the problem. Okay. Almost had it. It's got a bowl, mushroom bowl, mushroom tray in amazing shape for $2. This is actually my, probably my score of the week. This should be going a blast. But these, com these uh, trays by this company called Ciroc. I'm going to show you the label because they they generally sell pretty well. Uh, there we go. And they are, each one is individual. They put, they're inlaid with wood and copper and sometimes coins. I've definitely had these on the show before, but never a mushroom one. I think the tray with the bowl is probably around 35 bucks. Yes, these are, if you see these Ciroc trays, I've been, you know, doing this a long time. I've never seen a mushroom Ciroc tray, and I've bought several of them. So, cool to find this, especially for $2. Rare to get that deal, so I need a little money with trays. All right, next thing my youngest son found at the Root 219 Antique Mall. Now, it's hard to buy stuff at antique malls because they're dealers selling you the stuff. But my son turned around and said, hey, Dad, look at those glasses. And these are original Return of the Jedi Burger King. Yes, Burger King glasses. Each one, $1.99. Buck 99. And uh, they go for about 10 bucks normally in a well-traveled antique mall so i kind of took them out of uh oakland i'm gonna take them to pittsburgh and put 10 bucks on them and uh make 30 bucks off of six which is not bad you know just for my son was like he even my son knew that these were worth more than two bucks so score at an antique mall six dollars for the star wars return of the jedi all right last two things We've got a lot of stuff this week. Weird clock. Now, I don't know how you feel about this because the city in the background, it's hard to say where that is. And it's got the painted bridge in the foreground. Good font. This was $6 from Goodwill uh, in Frostburg, uh, Maryland. Yeah, a little town uh, has a Goodwill. It's 6 bucks. Right on the cusp of what I want to pay for this. But uh, I'm going to sell it for 26 So I'm going to make 20 bucks off of this. Might take a little bit of time to, to sell it. Because it, like I said, it's not it's not stunning. But it's definitely 70s. And uh, so it's going to... It'll sell. It's just, uh, you know... Not not the... Uh, the it's not the, the, the hot cityscape you like to see with all the color on it. Alright. Final thing. And like I said... <clears throat> no home runs this week. This was in the trenches, <coughs> workmanlike. 
Last thing, I paid 10 bucks for this at Goodwill. Sailboats, it's got a signature, where is it? Over here, somewhere. Um, Quartz base, 10 bucks is as much as you'd ever want to pay for this because this sells for about $30. Uh, the things you don't want to do is you, you don't want to buy one with the seagulls are ripped off. Uh, if these little flags have been bent or ripped off, this one's in really good shape. And I'm going to sell this for about 32 bucks. So 32 off of 10, I'll still make 20 bucks off of this. But sometimes you'll find these for four and five bucks. And that's, that's really where it's at. But not, I knew that it was, you know, a good buy because it's not just one sailboat. Some of these are just one. This is the double. A little, little bit more desirable. So, uh, 32 off of 10. I mean, look at everything. I, I spent uh, 46 bucks total, $46 on everything. Uh, when it's all said and done through my booths, uh, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, I'm looking at 237 off of 46. Yeah, and anybody can get involved in this. This is, uh, this is a uh, inclusive group, us resellers, and uh, I welcome you with open arms. And that's why I do the show, because I like talking about it. I like informing people as to what's out there. So let's see who wins the rooster tissue box that I personally like. And we had 50 people. It's like a down week. So 50 people thought this was a cool giveaway and uh, commented. All right, good luck to you all. Uh, good luck. Husky of the Valley, 6289. Congratulations, you are the winner. Uh, you need to email me at thriftstoreguy at hotmail.com. Thriftstoreguy at hotmail.com. Give me your address. I'll send the tissue box to your home. Congratulations. The system works. Thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have been a fantastic uh, audience. I appreciate you watching. Hit like, subscribe, and remember, always round up.